That was Tanya Goodwin-Smith into the presence here on your radio station, AM 930, The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, listen to the writer of Hebrews and what he has to say in Hebrews chapter 12, verse number 11. And he simply says this, no discipline seems Uh, pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Let me give you a little illustration. I happen to be an individual who goes to the gym two or three times a week. Now, when I first started going back (laughs) about a year ago, uh, what happened was I was not able to move around as uh, sprightly as I am today. I remember the very first time I started doing some floor exercises, and I'm thinking to myself, man, it feels like I'm killing myself. Well, yesterday I did some floor exercises, and I discovered that because of the stretching and also as well the type of exercises I was doing, I actually have become quite nimble at uh, doing these uh, particular floor, floor exercises. But the reality was when I first started, it was rather on the painful side. So what the uh, writer of Hebrews says, listen, discipline seems, does no discipline seems pleasant at the time. So if God decides to correct you in an area of your life, it might seem rather painful. But when you see why God does it later, then you begin to understand that God loves you too much to leave you the way that you are. He wants you to grow in righteousness and in peace. And that's why from time to time, he corrects your behavior. It's like when you take a little child and they're reaching towards the stove and you pull them back. Why do you do that? So they won't burn their hand. And you don't want them to learn the hard way about the reality of putting your hand on a hot stove. That's why you do it. And God does the same with us. He does not want us to go into the hot stoves of sin or wickedness. He pulls us back. And you're thinking, why'd you do that? And then later on, you begin to realize that God did it for a reason. So that's why the writer of Hebrews says, no discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. But later on, it will produce a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who've been trained by it. Okay, so just realize that if God decides to correct a behavior in your life, hold you back from something, or change a direction in your life, that's because he wants to produce righteousness and peace. So let God do his work in your life, and also as well, be willing to take that little bit of discipline so that you will become better at something. (laughs) Okay, a little thought for you today. Here on your radio station, AM 930, The Light Edmonton's Positive Talk, and now we have for you Maranatha with I Love You, Lord. (laughs) 